In this video, we're going to be doing another example on undetermined coefficients for solving second order differential equations that are non homogeneous. So, in this example, I am going to use the equation y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y equals to 3t squared plus 4t minus 5. So, uh, right off the bat, you can see that this is the same homogeneous section that we had in the previous equation, and we found that the homogeneous solution to this was C1 e to the minus t plus C2 e to the 3t. Now, we need to find out what the other part of the solution is, so we're going to set a function capital Y equal to something similar to this, but in, instead of having the constants in there, we're just going to replace them by undetermined coefficients, such that we can actually use the method undetermined coefficients. So we're going to replace everything by um, an unknown constant. So we're going to have at squared plus bt plus c. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivatives of this. So y prime is going to be 2at plus b and y is going to y double prime is going to be 2a so what we're going to do now is we're going to substitute these terms into this whole differential equation and that's going to give us something that allows us to solve for those three constants a b and c so we're going to do it straight away so we have y double prime comes first minus 2 times y prime, so that's going to be 2at plus b, and we have minus 3 times y, which is going to be at squared plus bt plus c, and all of that is going to be equal to 3t squared plus 4t minus 5. So we're going to expand this out and we're going to basically replace some of the terms. So let's have 2a minus 4at plus, sorry, that should be a minus there. Uh, should be a minus. 4at minus 2b minus 3at squared minus 3bt minus 3c and all of that is going to be equal to 3t squared plus 4t minus 5. So what can we do now to solve for a, b, and c? Well, we're going to group them together so all the terms that have a t squared are going to go together, all the terms that have a t to the power of 1 are going to go together and then the terms that are just constants are going to be grouped in another category. So in this case what can we do with this? Well. We can simply do the following. So I'm going to make some space here. Let's make some room. We're going to group those together and we're going to have minus 3at squared equals to 3t squared. So that is the square terms on the left hand side equals to the square terms on the right hand side. So this cancels out with that one, this with that one, and that leaves us with a equals to minus 1. So that's the first undetermined coefficient. The second one is going to be b, so we are going to have to group the terms that have um, a t in them, so that's minus 4at minus 3bt equals to 4t. Now we already found a, so we know that's just going to become 4t there. So we're going to have 4 minus 3b after we have cancelled out all the t's. So that, that, and that. 4. And this implies that b is just going to be equal to 0, as we can find there. And finally, we're going to find c. So for c, we're just going to group the constants together. So 2a minus 2b minus 3c equals to minus 5. And we already found a and b, so we can just substitute them in here so that c is going to become 1. So what does that mean? Well, our y solution is going to be minus t squared 
plus one. So now what we can do with this is we can combine both solutions together. So we're going to have our homogeneous solution plus capital Y, and that's going to give us the general solution to the whole equation. So I'm just going to write it down here. So general solution to the equation, once again, is just YH plus capital Y. And in this case, we're going to have C1E to the minus T plus C2E to the 3T. And that's going to be minus T squared plus 1. And this is our, going to be our final result. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to solve a differential equation where the function of time is actually a trigonometric function.